Leak code 176, second highest salary. Write a solution to find the second highest salary from the employee table. If there is no second highest salary, return null. The result format is in the following example. We're gonna solve this medium leak code question in both SQL as well as Python pandas. And I'm gonna take you step-by-step step to achieving both of those solutions. All right, let's start coding. So taking a look at the example input, we have this employee table with our ID and then salary. The second highest employee over here is gonna be 200. Then we have the second example where we have input employee table ID one, salary 100. And our second highest salary is null. And that's because we don't have two salaries here. So uh, we're gonna have to work on this specific edge case. I know we also have another edge case, um, which will populate where we have multiple IDs, but the salary is the same for the first two, and that's all we have. So there is technically no second highest salary. I wish they put this over here as an example, but that is something that we're gonna have to put into our specific code. Um, all right, let's start solving it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do a CTE, but let's build our select statement within here. So I'm gonna select, and we're gonna grab our salary. Now, what we're also gonna do is set up a dense rank. So dense rank, all right. And we're gonna say over, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna order by our salary. So order by salary descending, okay? And we're gonna name that one as sal rank. And then we're gonna say from employee, which is gonna be this table over here that we're grabbing from. So let's run that. And obviously it's gonna tell us we're incorrect, but that's all right. Okay, so you can see over here that we have ID 123, salary 100, 200, 300, and our output now is 300, 200, and 100, with our rank being one, two, and three. I also should mention the reason why we're using dense rank is we wanna have a tie if the salary is the same. So they wanna both be rank one if there's two 300s and then the second highest would be this 200. So that's why we're using dense rank. Uh, there's three different types of ranks that you could use. We have our desired, uh, essentially we have our desired output from the CTE. So let's put this together now. We're gonna call this as with sal ranking as, and just throw all this here in the middle. And I'm just gonna tab that over. And all right, so we have that now. Uh, next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna select our max salary. And the reason why we're using max is if you go back to the example input and how we have null, if it's, it doesn't exist, max is gonna allow us to do that. So set our max salary and we're gonna call this as, and feel free to just to copy our expected output, which is second highest salary like that, or type it out. It's just faster for me to copy it. Then we're gonna say this is from our cell ranking. And our last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna filter. If you remember how our output was, we had the salary and then the cell rank. Well, we wanna have salary, um, which is second place. So that's gonna be a rank of two. So all we're gonna do is where sal underscore rank equals two. Now I'm just gonna run to make sure that this works properly and then we'll explain this one more time and it's been accepted, and this has been my actual solution I submitted, and it worked perfectly. So uh, one more time, kind of just explaining what's working. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a CTE with this width. Um, what we're doing is we're grabbing the salary and we're ranking the salary with a specific dense rank. That way, if we have ties, uh, we can go to the next highest salary. That's why we're doing that. And then we're ordering by our salary. We're doing descending because we wanna have the highest salary first with the lowest salary being in last. And I'm just calling that new column as sal rank. So all we're doing is grabbing our salary and then sal rank from this first top part. Then I'm gonna do our full select statement down below the CTE. Uh, the CTE essentially creates a table that we can query from. And I'm just grabbing the max salary as second highest salary. Uh, the reason why is because we wanna show null if it doesn't exist uh, from our CTE, which is sal ranking. And then we're gonna populate where sal ranking or sal rank, I should say, equals two, which is gonna be our second highest salary. All right, let's move on to the Python pandas. Personally, I think the Python is gonna be a little bit more difficult, or at least it was for me in comparison to, to the SQL side of things. So what we're gonna do is we're creating a function over here, second highest salary. We're throwing in our, our data frame, which is gonna be employee, which I already showed you. 
essentially on the, on the SQL side of things. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop any duplicates within the salary side of things. So what I'm gonna do is employee like this equals, and we're gonna say employee dot drop, and then we're gonna say duplicates. And then in here, we're gonna say subset equals salary. And what this essentially does, this line of code, is it drops any row where there's a duplicate salary. So in the, in the example that we have, if let's say for example, we have two IDs separate, like one and two, and then both are salary of 100, it's gonna drop that second ID where there's a salary of 100 because we don't wanna have a duplicate salary. So that's essentially what we're doing with this to drop duplicates and setting that subset to that specific salary. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say if the length of the employee data frame, so employee over here is less than two, then we're gonna say, we're gonna return, which I need to actually make that as an if over here, I forgot the colons. Uh, we're gonna return our data frame. So return pd.dataframe, because that's our expected output on here. And what we're gonna say is essentially our second highest salary, which again, I'm gonna copy that just so I don't make a mistake. Second highest salary like that, and we're gonna return none. So we're looking at our, essentially our null case in this instance, and that's how we're doing that. So, and we're gonna say else, and we're gonna start taking a look at um, ranking these. So just what I'm doing really quick, just to confirm with you guys, is we're doing employee over here, we're doing employee.drop duplicates, we're looking at the subset of uh, the salary. So if there's two specific salaries that are the same, it's going to drop that specific row. Now, here's the deal. If we only have one specific row with our salary or zero, which is what this if statement is over here, we're going to return a none value for the second highest salary. And that's what it's saying in pandas, return none in pandas. So that's why we're doing none. So hopefully that makes sense. We're returning the data frame because that's our expected output, the second highest salary, and we're returning none, which is our null value. Else, we're gonna start trying to calculate specifically what is going on for the second highest salary. So let's do that. So what I'm gonna do this time is employee, and we're gonna put our sal rank again. So we're gonna say sal rank, and we're gonna say that's gonna be equal to employee, we're gonna put salary, and then we're gonna say dot rank, and we're gonna say ascending, equals false. And we don't have to worry about duplicates because we already dropped that in the first row of this function. Now what we're gonna do is second highest equals employee. And inside here, we're gonna say employee or sal rank equals two. So essentially like our where clause on the SQL side of things. Then we're gonna say second highest again equals second highest and we're going to rename our column so dot rename and we're going to say columns equal and what we're going to rename our salary so salary and we're going to rename this as second highest salary so make sure you actually put a colon there and like that and i'm just going to copy and paste that over here again all right should be good there. Oh, I for I accidentally messed that up over here for the parentheses. And lastly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna return our data frame. So return, and we're gonna return the second highest, so second highest. And inside over here, we're just gonna be returning one column, which is our second highest salary, which we just renamed. And this should be good. I'm just gonna run this and make sure we have no errors. And I'll go through this code one more time with you guys. And it's been accepted. This has been my exact solution. So what we're doing in this function, the first thing we're gonna do is drop any duplicates, um, the rows that have the same exact salary. And then we're gonna create an if statement. So if there's only one or zero salaries, we're gonna return a null value, which is gonna be none. Else we're gonna do our ranking. We're gonna rank the salary. We're gonna do that in descending order, which is why we use ascending equals false. Then we're gonna look for that specific sal rank being at two, which is gonna be our second highest salary. Again, once assuming that we have at least two distinct salaries in there, then we're gonna rename our salary column into second highest. 
and then we're going to return our data frame which is second highest and just return that specific column which is second highest cell so that was elite code 176 not too bad of a problem hope you guys were able to get some value in this video if you did make sure to subscribe to the channel i'm uploading multiple data focused videos every single week and if you want to check out even more elite code questions i have a full playlist as well as others linked down below in the description